Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 17, verses 6 to 9, from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. I am praying to you because I know you will answer, O God. Bend down and listen as I pray. Show me your unfailing love in wonderful ways. By your mighty power, you rescue those who seek refuge from their enemies. Guard me as you would guard your own eyes. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Protect me from wicked people who attack me, from murderous enemies who surround me. Wow, family, isn't that just such a beautiful portion of scripture? I love how it says there right at the beginning, I pray to you because I know that you will answer. That is the assurance that David had when he wrote the psalm, that he knew that when he prayed to the Lord, the Lord would answer his prayers. How awesome is that to be able to have that confidence in knowing that when we pray, God answers our prayers. And family, that is a confidence that we can have. If we are born again, spirit-filled Christian believers, as we pray, we must believe that as we pray what we pray, God hears our prayer and he answers our prayer already. We must put our faith into our prayers. We mustn't just say our prayers with the attitude of, you know, okay, well, God, you know, this is my prayer. If you want to answer it, you you know, you can. If you don't want to answer it, it's, it's okay, you know. That's not how God is, family. God hears our prayers. It says there, bend down and listen as I pray. And that is exactly what the Lord does. Every time we pray, he bends down, he listens to us, he hears our words, and he answers those those prayers there and then family so you might ask well why aren't the answers manifesting here in the physical instantly and the reason for that is family because sometimes there takes there's a bit of a delay that happens in the spiritual realm between when God answers the prayer from his throne room in heaven to when it physically manifests here on earth and it is in that time that our faith is tested and we must not allow ourselves to go cold or weak in our faith during this time, we must continue to believe and know that God has heard our prayers and God has answered our prayers and the answer to that prayer is on the way. You see, family, God never says no to our prayers. He always answers our prayers. He never ignores our prayers. His inbox is never too full to answer our prayers and to grant us that which we want. However, sometimes the answers that he gives us to the prayers that we pray aren't always what we expect. But this is how God works. When we pray, he answers us in one of three ways. The first is yes, certainly you can have it. Let's do it. The second one is okay, but you need to wait a little while before I can give this to you. And the third is hmm, maybe not this, but I've got something better for you. You see how none of those answers are no, family. It's either yes, not yet or I've got something better for you. And that's how the Lord answers our prayers, family. Unless, of course, we're praying something that's completely, you know, against the will of God and against the word of God, like we're praying for some, some other man's wife to marry us. I mean, that's completely unbiblical, completely unethical. And obviously, in that case, God is kind of going to say no, but he's still not going to say no. He's kind of going to say, um, you know, maybe I've got something better for you or I've got someone better for you. That is how God answers our prayers, family. So we can have the same faith that David had in the first portion of that scripture there, knowing that when we pray, God hears our prayers, he answers our prayers, and the, the physical manifestation of those prayers are on our way. We just need to continue to remain in faith. And as we continue to remain in faith, we'll see the next part of the scripture, which says, show me your unfailing love in wonderful ways. That is exactly what the Lord will do family if we continue to pray and remain in faith that he will show us his unfailing love he will show us how much he cares for us and how much he cares for what we need and what we want and how he looks after us he will show these things to us family and then the second portion of scripture going on from there says by your mighty power, you rescue those who seek refuge from their enemies, family. I believe that this is a continuation of the last portion of scripture which spoke about showing God showing us his unfailing love, family. He shows us his unfailing love by granting us the prayers that we've prayed by granting us our wishes and the things that we desire. But he also shows his unfailing love by protecting us as any good father would, as any good caring and loving father would. He protects those who seek refuge. He guards us as if he would guard his own eyes. Now, the eyes is something that is guarded, and especially in those biblical times, family. And it is saying there that God, God will guard us 
like he would his own eyes, his most precious possession, the, pos- the, the thing that he cannot be without. That is how much God guards us, family. And we must trust and believe that, that when we are surrounded by enemies, when we need to seek the Lord for refuge, he will guard us like his most precious and most valuable asset, family. And lastly, it says, they hide me in the shadow of your wings. As a mother hen tucks her chicks under her wings, God does that with us as well, family, to protect us and to keep us warm, to keep us safe and safe and away from harm, family. And that is exactly what God does. And it says lastly there, protect me from wicked people who attack me, from murderous enemies who surround me. Family, God loves us and he protects us. We just have to go to him and trust in his protection. And as the first portion of the scripture said, he also answers our prayers when we pray our prayers, family. We must have this kind of faith in God that David had, that he will bless us, that he will prosper us, that he will protect us, that he hears our prayers, that he answers our prayers, and he grants us our prayers when we want it, family. He grants us the things that we desire the most, family. Sometimes we don't even have to ask God. God just loves us so much that he actually just gives it to us without us even needing to say a physical prayer. But I'm not saying, you know, just expect that to happen every time, family, because God loves us and he wants to hear from us. He wants to hear what we need, even though he already knows what we need, just because he loves talking to us that much family. Even though he knows how our day went, he wants to hear how our day went. Even though he knows what we need and what we want, he wants to hear our thoughts and he wants to hear it and he loves to hear it from our perspective and from our point of view. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful portion of scripture, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that we can go forward with the same confidence that David had, Lord, that knowing that when we pray, you hear our prayer and you answer our prayer, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for all the prayers that we've prayed in the past, Lord, that you have answered, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you will continue to do a work within us, Lord, to keep us strong in our faith, Lord, believing and trusting and knowing that you've answered the prayer and the physical manifestation of that prayer is on the way, Lord, and that it'll arrive at the perfect place, at the perfect time, at the perfect point in our lives, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that we can have the same assurance that David had, Lord, going forward, that when we have enemies and people surrounding us and are facing challenging situations and stuff, Lord, that we can come to you and take refuge in you, Lord, and we can know that you won't turn us away, Lord, that you will protect us, that you will hide us under your wings, Lord, and keep us safe from harm's way, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for all that you do for us each and every day, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your unfailing, unconditional, uncompromising love, Lord, in our lives, Lord, and I pray, Lord, that you will give each and every person listening to this message, myself included, Lord, a revelation of just how much you love us, Lord, and let us just soak in your love, Lord, and soak in your presence, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're going to do and accomplish in us and through us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, yeah, yeah.